Well, good morning, Coasters. Hey, uh, Sunday, Sunday morning, good time to get a get a few things done. Uh, high overcast out there and a uh, bit of light rain at times, but hey, um, hey, that's the coast. Now, some breaking news for you. At 5 a.m. on Saturday morning, there was a release from government and it sort of went as follows. Six West Coast businesses have received assistance from the $300 million fund aimed at protecting strategic tourism businesses. So we had a number of businesses that made applications, put a lot of work into it, and we've got the results uh, to share with you now. Uh, each of the grants uh, is subject to a contract being agreed with government. And as you know, often the devil's in the detail. Now, in some cases, the grants uh, are actually backed up also by very low interest rate loans. And the objective is to ensure that strategic uh, tourism businesses carry on operating because without them, it uh, takes away a lot of the incentive for New Zealanders that want to travel to uh, come to the coast. Now, the successful businesses are the Franz Joseph Glacier Guides and Hot Pools, and that's owned by Naitahu. Delighted, delighted. We need those hot pools back up and running because it's not only the uh, it's not only the tourists from Canterbury and and uh, around New Zealand that go to France. Uh, people across the coast do exactly the same thing, and it's a it's a wonderful day out. Right, the the second one is the shant is Shanty Town. Now Shanty Town is in the Grey District. It absolutely deserves uh, uh, this uh, grant. It'll help them strategically. They're a hard working group of volunteers in most cases. They do a wonderful job. Right, the next one, Fox Glacier Guiding Company, based in Fox Glacier, and it's carried on. Uh, when uh, level one was reached, it simply carried on with a reduced number of people, but providing a reason to come to the West Coast, and a good reason. Okay, the next one, West Coast Wildlife Centre, also in Franz Joseph, uh, Richard Benton's company, does a wonderful job. You can see Kiwis there, Tuataras. It's a, it's a real educational experience and a must when you're in Franz Joseph. Well done there, Richard. Really delighted to see this. Now, the next one, the West Coast Treetop Walkway. It's in Hokitika, just out of Hokitika. Uh, and uh, to Doug and, and Vonnie, brilliant. Brilliant. This is, uh, I, I know that You've been delighted with the local support you've received, and and this is this is really big. This will help you sustain things in a in a without such a stressful way over the next twelve months or so. Now the final one is YY Punamu. Now Nati YY and of course Makafio are, are the two runangas that we have on the coast, and Punamu such an important part of our tourism sector when it is running. So now's the time to tidy it up. You need access to stone. You've got to have an outlet. I mean, people have got to go somewhere. And so strategically, this is a really, really good move. So well done to Francois and the team. I think this is a winner. Well, there we go, Co uh, Coasters. Um, hey, have a great day. That's a lot of money. And uh, there's more to come.